Well, what is up, you beautiful people? This is Gary Horton. This is this is the NWA. It's the show celebrating the past, present, future, history, legacy, and tradition of the greatest pro wrestling entity of all time. Of course, we're talking about the National Wrestling Alliance. And I am joined with Danny Deals and Joe Galley. No idea where Kyle is or Will or anybody. Could be abducted by aliens. I was going to do a run-in. Yeah. Maybe they're busy. They could be busy. How could you be busy on a day like today when we're talking about enough said NWA power tomorrow night? I was pretty damn busy today. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Everything gets busier closer to a pay-per-view. Oh, sure. Except for Kyle and Joe. They're they're always busy. Daddy's always busy. Yeah. The, that's uh, going to be my ripoff of uh, Cardona's shirt. Is it always, always ready? I'll just say always busy. Actually, those are probably sell deals. I'm just saying. Yeah. Bullseye. Okay. We have to look I'm at working that. on it. Ah. Uh, I had one during the intro, the countdown. I had one during the countdown. Yeah, we'll show the replay later. I'm sure Gary had the camera running. Yeah, we'll just get a close up slow shot of it. Uh, Shout out to the chat Uh, Mark Markington, Corey Richmond in the chat, James Bell, Rush Freeman is here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Yeah, look at that guy. One half of the spectaculars or one third of the spectaculars. One third. Yeah. And uh, Eric Dale, Fee is here, Jason Ward. Uh, Thank you guys. Uh, for being here, Roy and Caps is here, of course. Wouldn't be the same without you, Caps. And uh, Jason Ward, NWA was awesome in Knoxville. Uh, were you there live, Jason? If you were, uh, hope you had a great time. And that show was awesome. I was happy to see that up close and in person. Danny Deals got involved at one point, uh, doing a doing a run in, talking about run ins over here. You were. We a- didn't do a run in. <laughs> we came. What I made an announcement? <laughs> <laughs> we yeah we came we came out and Alex cashed in his his championship opportunity because he carried Kerry's team anyway he won the whole thing by himself and so we just came out we could have jumped him you know as Alex previously stated we could have jumped him right and did it right there beat up old rock and roll rigor mortis and all that kind of stuff but we didn't we said <laughs> we'll see you in Tampa how's that grab you. If uh, if 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 Ricky Morton gets physical, Danny, are you ready to get physical? I'm gonna Ricky take Morton? him right out. Get him out of here. Okay. All right. Well, at least uh, at least you're you're confident. I guess. Yeah, we're not worried about that. All right. All right. Well, uh, we're happy to see all of you here, and uh, hopefully, here we'll have a special guest. Uh, Kevin Kylie is announced. That's a pretty cool get, I thought. Uh. And uh, I'm surprised you didn't petition harder for it to be Alex Taylor, but uh, we do have a special word thanks to you from Alex Taylor. So I guess there's that. There you go. His presence will be noted anyway. Also, by the way, Gary, I think I sent you something earlier. I think I sent you a code earlier and it's for everybody, but the peeps here on the show get it first. That's right. The peeps on the show get access to this. Use the code Duff deals for 20% off. Through Thursday, February 14th. That's Valentine's Day for those. That is Valentine's Day. Get your sweetie something. Yeah. Uh, look at that. You got new any stuff right live there. power shirts left deals? Any I do, ones? but I didn't know if you, uh, I didn't know if I should sell them on the website or only to the people Ooh, who show up at the live power. That's a good, exa- that's a good question. That's yeah. a good question, deals. And if I you're missing a Valentine, like, I mean, look at that. You could get like a big, huge banner of uh, Camille or, uh, Mecca Wolf at uh, Basia. Along with you just you just bypassed the women's tag champions. They're holding. No, I was them going there. to them next. I was going to go up to uh-huh. them. Likely yeah. story. What, hey, is, see, what is the girl's name in the in the other NWA t shirt here? Oh, that's Tootsie Roll. She's wearing the uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> inverted name. inverted star shirt, and uh, it goes well with the beanie. Uh, I told her to take a picture in the shirt, and she said I, it goes well with this beanie. Look at this. So it does. Bullshit. Yeah. Should make a combo there. Of course, there's a new green hoodie, which I'm currently wearing. There's a new program. There's all kinds of stuff. They made a new bundle. Of course, there's going to be a new shirt for the pay-per-view, only available there in Florida. Uh, Maybe afterwards, but, you know, that's if there's any left over. And uh, there's all kinds of stuff. Deal man's working hard. While we're training Alex for his big World's Junior Heavyweight Championship, uh, we're also putting deals out. So. Is Tootsie Roll your wife? I saw that in the chat. Bullseye! She is not. No. <laughs> uh, I saw that program there, too, by the way. that program. We are actually okay. both from Cleveland originally, but uh, no. Uh, okay. I'm probably 20 years older than her. 
<laughs> uh, the uh, program is there. Uh, you can get one of those. Uh, Odin said it's not in it, though, so uh, just be aware of that. There was a rampage in the back. In the well, I told him I was sorry. He said, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know how much of a rampage it really was. Maybe it was at first, but, you know. No, I'm Someone's doing activities during the stream. No, that's, hey, probably, that's Biff over here. He's uh, he's chasing this thing around. Danny going to drop the Cleveland Ridge hand on Ricky. That's what I'm seeing there. That's, Cleveland uh, Ridge. Okay. okay. If your lady isn't wearing NWA merch, you're a failure as a man. Well. Ow. Well said, Derek. I uh well yeah that's uh Eric Eric in the chat just uh call it him like he sees him that's right uh I'm wearing a pro wrestling is fixed shirt in mourning for our boys the fixers oh geez who lost their NWA they did United indeed States tag team championships are they Although, in the chat they, usually wrecking ball is now yeah. now here here's the thing now is this does this go along with like remember the Jim Ro uh, the Jim Rome the Jungle Karma they were on the show and then they won the titles. I don't know I'm if anybody's curious big. if that's the case. Um, yeah. In Jim Rome's show in the 90s, they called that the uh, jungle car. People if it come is on the, the case, uh, then, you know, we'll get some hot guests from here on out. You know, like people are going to be joining just to win titles. So I know it's a toque, Mark Markington, but I am in front of mostly an American audience. So if I said toque, then I'll go, oh, so I said beanie. But I am aware that it is a toque. Yes. 100% I would have said. Huh? Yes. That's why I just uh, said, Beanie, keep it easy. What, what Joe knows Canada because he's an international man of mystery. So he knows all. Oh, a toque in Canada? Is that where it's? Yeah, toque? it's Canada. Yeah. Oh. Uh, too close to the sun for the. Just like I didn't correct Eric. the guy in Knoxville who asked me for a toboggan, which is a wooden sled. But for some bizarre reason in the South, they call beanies toboggans. Nobody knows why. That is interesting. Yes. Super weird. Um, the uh, I, I met Mike Durband at the uh, Knoxville show. That was yeah, cool. Big Money Mike. He was there. He was there. He takes good pictures. You see the pictures he took from there? Yeah, pictures are good. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've great pictures. tweeted some of those. Uh, He's also the K100 uh, NWA reporter. Gets, but you guys didn't know that. I did not know that. Now the world knows. Oh, actually, I think we did we did kind of talk about it, but he said he wanted to keep it secret. So you, uh, no, oh, okay. Well, it's too late there. for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, too late for that. Too uh, late for love. Meticulousical says uh, they want to offer a promotion of our channel. Viewers, followers, view chat bots. That's uh, I don't know how many live streams do you <laughs> think fantastic. actually throw the the bots comments up on uh, the live stream? just here? That's yeah. the quality program. See, that, that that's what you miss when, when Will isn't here. Will would have filtered that out. He would have, he would have, he would have nixed that right in the bud. <laughs> uh, look at that. I'll throw Rush Freeman's great compliment of you, Mike, up on the uh, thing there. Great uh, photographer. Um, all right. Well, uh, let's see. Well, there's a, uh, don't forget the deals. Uh, Valentine's Day, New Year deals, 20% off at nationalwrestlingalliance.com slash shop. No, 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 no. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I forgot that I didn't update that one because I had the uh, the little picture. Yes, enough okay. deals. Enough, enough deals. I, New I, Year's? I, Christ, we're in the second month already. I know. Come on, dude. It's already February. Yeah, Look at it's that. almost over. Enough deals. 20% off. It's spring. Off. Pretty soon we have to do it. 2023. Blowing through it. Yeah. What, what is wrong with me? Next thing you know, it's going to be Christmas. There's a lot to keep up with. And so uh, that's, no that's kidding. what's happening. We got Florida. Um, we got Mexico. We got Australia. We got potentially more places. Well, hopefully well definitely more, more places. places. I just can't I was going to say, well, hopefully more places. Um, and uh, Joe, are you going to Australia? Uh, it's looking like it. Um, so uh, that'll be that's fun. Exciting. Never been there. Yeah. I uh, did a couple trips to Japan in my life, but I've never been to Australia. Alex yeah. just let me know that he shoveled the dirt for 11 hours today. Some real rocky shit. He said, Kerry Drago ain't doing that shit. That's right. No. He's getting, getting ready. He's getting in there. He's, he's getting his uh, his uh, his hand massage. Yeah, hard, he's getting the hearts on fire to Rocky Ford training. That's what he's doing. Right? Oh, he's chasing the chicken? Is he chasing the yeah. chicken? That's part one. Oh, that is part one. That's right. Yeah. 
I feel like uh, if if Alex Taylor wins the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship Ooh. deals, that's going to give you some more power in the NWA and uh, one step closer to tackling Medusa instead of dealing with stuff like. I love that pro wrestling cinema just throws for made a music video out of that. <laughs> I just saw a show <laughs> show. Oh, well, that's you getting slapped in the face by Medusa. Yeah. There's a camera behind you just smiling. Very mean. Very mean. Super happy about it. Uh, Very mean. Anyway. Well, they're they're degenerates. Medusa has a book coming out. Rush Freeman pointing she that does. out. She does. Yeah. She'll be doing yeah. uh, autograph signings if she can get copies of it in time. So. Oh, is that coming? At, wait, that. What is is that release date before? Uh, I update? I'm not exactly sure, but you know these authors sometimes they can get a stack of them before the official release date, and so she's seeing if she can make something work. Because uh, we know Tyrus is going to have his books there. Uh, seems to do well selling those as well. So, uh, so yeah, lots of yeah, stuff. Lots of stuff you can get. Up. Lots of goodies. Lots of goodies to go home to. Could be a good Father's Day gift, St. Patrick's Day gift. Whatever kind of gift. Yeah. That'd be a cool it's treat. Green. Book's green, right? Everything is green. Uh the the Medusa book is called The Woman Who Would Be King, the Medusa story. It comes out uh March twenty eighth, according to Amazon. So you could get it early, potentially. Enough said in Tampa. We'll Maybe. see. No Maybe. Guarantees. No guarantees. No, on the great no card subject to change. All right, and let's see here. We are still waiting on a guest. Uh, I have not heard anything else. Let's talk about the pay-per-view. Yeah, we're talking about the pay-per-view. We can talk about power. Yeah. Big episode of power coming back for uh, everybody from Knoxville. What do you want to jump into, Gary? It's your show. Yeah, it's your well, show. Well, we might as well. Yeah, no, well, I appreciate that. No, I was just uh, sure I had missed a message. Uh, Bullseye, Gary, it's for you. Oh, what's this uh, section gets uh, submerged? Definitely that bullseye shirt is going to be one of the things. Uh, Crib Brulee says, I'm here. We can start now. All right. Congratulations. Polka Dot Pam is here. Let's talk about the pay per view. Hey, let's talk about the pay per view. Yeah. Polka Dot Pam wants to talk about the pay per view. So we'll go. talk about the pay per view. All right. Well, uh, show, one of the Gary. big things. Her show. It is pay- Polka Dot Pam's is her show. show. So, uh, one of the big matches that are ha- this happening at that pay per view, we've uh, let's see, let's start with how about since Polka Dot Pam made the request? Look at this one, Trevor Murdoch is taking on Chris Adonis. That match is gonna big be heat. fire, and I'm not even being facetious here, I am super excited about that. Just take a look at this clip from last week on Power in the Champion Series, uh, how this played out to reignite this feud. <laughs> In this building, this building means something. Yeah, this is where... Oh, Did he eliminate it? Oh, has been eliminated! That's exactly right, Tim, about Trevor Murdoch became an NWA World Heavyweight Champion in this very building. Oh, no! Oh, he's trying... That's not an elimination, No, though. that's not an elimination. Oh, Chris no. Adonis was pulled under the bottom rope. He needs to go over the top rope to be eliminated as Adonis goes oh face first into the steel. Trevor Murdoch is unhinged. Into the rail, into the apron, off the post. Thank you, guys. Team Rock and Roll is livid. Woo. But what are you going to do? How are you going to stop Trevor Murdoch? Oh. Oh. back on the apron. So uh, that, that big elimination there. Uh, former World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch getting eliminated in the Champion Series by... He was pissed. Yeah, he was not happy well, with that they, attack. They, they've had heat for years. I mean, they go all the way back to the battles of the national championship. I mean, they're no strangers to throwing ham hocks at each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I I, uh, I, I was telling uh, Doc Stinson was there with me that night, and we were both standing there out, out in front, just looking, just watching in person at that match. When those two guys got in the ring together, there was fire, and – you know, sometimes you can see enough, and you can even hear it in Joe's voice. I feel like uh, it, you see enough. Maybe you could get, you think you could get jaded by seeing action like that in the ring, but those two start hitting each other. Oh my God. I was just amped up. I was just jumping up and down. I couldn't. I not thought you were going to hit the ring here. No, no, I probably would not hit the ring with those two guys in there. Bullseye. Uh, yeah, exactly, Joe. And uh, those two guys go hard. And uh, I can't wait to see those two fight. Like Joe said, they got plenty of history. That uh, elimination hey! by Adonis 
Kyle Speaking of here. jaded, trying to get for some reason updated my laptop, couldn't get the camera to work for this. So, uh, hey, check it out. Now, I'm just Lord, just you it. sound professional, Kyle. That's good. Do I sound professional? I don't oh, know. Oh, the that's... mic setup sounds nice. I mean, yeah. this is the same thing I've had before. I don't. Sounds know especially sound. nice today. Take nice. the compliment, damn it. Perfect. I hope just in time for the podcast. Yeah. How's everybody Dude. doing today? By the way, we were talking about Trevor getting pissed and attacking Chris. Like, I'm gonna get you. When he got yeah, a Trevor's run. an angry he young got... man. You know, I, yeah. I I feel him. I mean, obviously. He's had uh, two championship reigns, and at the end of the day, you'd think that that would earn somebody respect, but people still don't have the utmost respect for Trevor Murdoch. And I think that at a certain point, that weighs on a man. And I think that, again, I've said this in the past, and I'm going to say it before, the angrier he gets, the more responsible I feel like we all are for that. I'm nice to him. Yeah, I mean, you're the yeah. deal man. You give us all deals. Let me tell you something. By the way, I don't know if you plugged it, but you wearing that green hoodie right there, that thing is so soft. Oh. It's perfect it's my for the new cold favorite. It's my new go-to. It's it's fit, and I got to be honest with you. I saw it, and I was like, I at first I thought it was the black one. I picked it up, and I was like, must be weird lighting. And I brought it over a little bit. I'm like, no, this is like a weird hunter green. Not my first choice, but I got to tell you something. It's grown on me. I love yeah. it. It's you super soft. Like the are now my first thing. choice. Uh, nice one. Speak. It's nice. So talking about that Trevor Murdoch thing after With that vicious attack, Adonis, uh, Adonis, Adonis was immediately eliminated by Thrillbilly right after that. So cost Trevor the match and then cost Adonis the match. These two, that fire has been reignited. They would have beat the hell out of each other. Uh, Caps talking about the brutality of Trevor Murdoch uh, and Eric saying he fears for Adonis. Uh, and uh, Polka Dot Pam, of course, saying don't fear for Adonis. He's going to take Murdoch down, but we're going to find out. Polka Dot Pan is also going to take Adonis down. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. All right. And, what else uh, is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what he's talking about. Kyle's drunk and high. He's had them gummies. I see the gummy eyes. He's got them. <laughs> if you just take a look here and here, here and here. Can you follow Joe's red dart? Dish. Here and here. You see they are as red as the devil's dick. I have a prescription. I have a prescription. Oh, boy. Walk a straight uh, line. All right. Hey. <laughs> I can't see Indian Facebook. style in front of this. What else we got going uh, on? Well, there's so much going on on February the 11th that Nuff said. Uh, that's just one of the big matches. Uh, this one, uh, how about a little clip here that'll lead us into two matches we should talk about? Uh, let's throw to this. And that's exactly what they are. They're a bunch of wimps. I think it's an excuse. There's a reason why they're not here. Oh, but they oh, are God. here! Wait oh, my minute. God! The kendo stick! Nobody knew they Angelina were here! Angelina Love, where'd they come from? We didn't see them in the back at we didn't all. See them. Oh, my God! And they came loaded to bear! They came with weapons! Were they just hiding oh, in the, the guard back rail. all day? My God, she's collapsed that steel guardrail! Oh, my God! Oh, 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 into the post! We were told that Bonner and Angelina Love had travel issues she's because the of the kendo stick. She's got the kendo no, stick! She's choking no. the champ with the kendo stick! Someone's gonna stop this! what is going on right now? champion for 604 days and she's being choked to death with a stick oh my god and she's forced to watch oh, Latimer, Latimer. Oh, my god. Oh, Latimer. this is insane oh, no, right no, no, now no 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 Oh, no, 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 the champ, the disrespect shown to Tom Latimer and the NWA women's champion, Camille, by Psycho Love. And they're sending a message. That's, that's the only way I can look uh, at it. Message sent, message received, I think. I have never seen. Oh, oh, no. Wow, that was weird. A little behind the scenes <laughs> action. Was I was going to cut that clip a lot earlier, but I had to leave that part in. Uh, just where it's hard to it's hard to take Joe off his game for just a second. Well, well no, here's the thing, and this is this is legit. We had to deal with travel issues all day for live power to the point where up until like an hour before the show, Joe and I were still trying to figure out who's gonna be on that freaking show. Card is subject to change. And I was more annoyed by the fact that I believe they really weren't there. Call me naive, but I had dealt with so many issues of people not showing up and because of flights being diverted. We had eight people that literally flew out of Atlanta got to Knoxville, got told they couldn't land, then turned around, landed back in Atlanta, had to come back the next day. That was fun. Joe, 
being a, a Texas man there, had ice score in his little area and everything going on there. So when two people tell me they're not going to be there and then they're there, that's extra heartache and headache for me. Not a fan. You don't even think about that. Forget Tom Latimer and Camille. Well, like, Tom Latimer and Camille, I think it's great. But but they are going great. to get their revenge coming up. Enough said. <laughs> February 11th. And, and the, but, but let's talk about Joe and I. We had to deal with that. And I hate the fact that I had a promo interrupted by shenanigans. Sure, two people got hurt during those shenanigans. But shenanigans nonetheless. <laughs> they got jumped. Well, and that's great. But... <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah. So yeah, it, it now has led to two matches. I was misinformed as we went into NWA USA about what the booking was going to be, or perhaps I was informed that things changed. It was a chaotic time in Knoxville. So let's talk about these two big matches that we're going to get two for one now. Okay. Bullseye. Yeah, we were going to have an intergender tag match, but now it's led to Nuff said on February the 11th. We're going to get Tom Latimer taking on Fodder in a what? Hey. Singapore cane match. Do you know how Ooh. far Singapore is from Tampa? Yeah, Singapore that's going to be crazy. Cane, Those canes are going to have to fly 22 hours. Kyle, what if the canes don't arrive? I was just thinking that. What if there's travel <laughs> issues for the canes? You took the words right out of my brain, Joe Galley. It's like we're part of the same human being. You're going to have to find a different kind of cane. That's going to be tough. That's, I got to hook that's up like be, an hour that's away. Gotta and be, get you a deal. That's got to be a Singapore cane. A Tampa Cane. I'll get you a deal on him. I got. I got to connect an hour. A Tampa up to Cane the would have like an alligator on it. Like, it's funny because we were just in Knoxville, and Knoxville has their own cane. That was Knoxville Cane. Yeah, Knoxville I was going to say I don't know if you've ever uh, seen That's Tampa made Cane. Made of it's, uh, but it's uh, smoke them out. T- Tampa Cane's powdery and white. So the- so's so's the Knoxville. Jesus game, Christ, with you as well. <laughs> Miami. Anyway, what's uh, the other match, Garrison? Oh uh, we well, so the other Miami Vice here. This. Camille, so so ready for vengeance against Angelina Love for that vicious attack, has granted Angelina Love uh, side dog for a title match uh, with the stipulation that this is no disqualification. You've got Camille versus multi-time impact with this champion, Angelina Love. Uh, Big time. This, this could be a huge challenge for Camille. One Big time mistake by before. Camille. Yeah, she was also a ROH women's champion, if I'm not mistaken. Angel should have had her title match a long time ago. It's a travesty that it had to come to this, but that she had to jump uh, Camille to get a match. You know, and that's so why it's a big time mistake by Camille to make this a no DQ match to ask for that, to try to get revenge. Yeah, I get what you're saying is nothing could stop Camille from doing devastation to Angelina Love, but we just saw what happened when there weren't any rules. Right yeah. in that match, she was able yeah, to Angel's crazy. Let me let me tell you of Tom Latimer. I mean, come on, that's that's not an easy thing to do. Angel's crazy. Let me tell you, as a former member of Love Security, she's crazy. Mm. Well, she seemed like it. I mean, she got a that's weird out of Joe. And Joe that's weird. thinks very little is weird. Yeah, was, uh, well, I, then uh, what was weirder was uh, Velvet's uh, explanation that perhaps she was low on electrolytes. Man, it could have been it, though. It could have well, been. That's we why I was drink, ladies and gentlemen. Gatorade, Gatorade, Gatorade zero. Zero sugar, <laughs> all the flavor, and the electrolytes. Zero sugar, 100% fodder. <laughs> all the flavor and all the electrolytes. And what I'm having that, I like to enjoy Nashville's own Big Papa popcorn. Make sure you get a bite of that. That is also the caramel chocolate drizzle. Go to Big Papa Corn on Instagram. Delicious. Uh, a lot of chat uh, going off about Dak Draper, too. I, I look forward to hearing something about Dak Draper coming up. Said That would be cool. But uh, When uh, Dak he, Draper, he's the mile-high magnum. And when I want to be a mile-high, I find I'm going to stop. <laughs> you do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad all this got out before uh, Kevin Kiley showed up. So. <laughs> This, uh, Guys, um, it's been a rough couple of weeks for Joe and I, and it's going to be a rough weekend too headed into this because Nuff said it's going to be an amazing show, and the people behind it want to give you the best experience possible. But until then, let's enjoy life. Bullseye. Knoxville nope, King makes me want to go to the bathroom, says Crib Brulee. Um, All right. I was talking about Glenn Jacobs this whole time. Or was this a drug reference? Oh, Glenn Jacobs was around, right? Like yeah, I saw pictures with him and Tyrus, and I was I was ringside with Joe the whole time. I had no idea that it's got to be Mayor Kane. Yeah, there. I never saw that brother either. What else is on the um, paper? Well, I was going to also mention that uh, WC Mark Markington, by the, the way, whole NWA crew. Like. 
You're welcome, WC. Thanks for uh, showing up to Knoxville, and I'm uh, glad you had a good time. Pam said Camille's going to kill Angelina. Yeah. WC has no fear. Yeah. I mean, just because we're going to be in Florida doesn't mean that, that anything goes, ladies and gentlemen. Florida but still what has about rules. Raven? Yeah. New Boston yeah. off Natalia Markova's going to be at Nuff's Ted. I believe oh, that her tuned. and Mercurio will be in action. I'm just putting that out there. Oh, little little behind the scenes, like just That's a teaser. A tease. There. What the heck was that, Kyle? Some <laughs> that sort of crab? You <laughs> some sort of crab dance? Because you got crabs now. Ooh, look oh. at Willie Bo and Dak Drake, future NWA from World Knoxville? Heavyweight Champion. Oh. I love Jason Ward here. When is Silas going to get a push for the belt? What 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 do you think's happening with Silas right now? That guy is as old he wants the national as title. He could be. He wants the national Bullseye. title. That's what him and Poyo have been talking Bullseye. about. Bullseye. Yeah, they have been Bullseye talking right about the national that. title. I'm glad you brought that up. That's a great point, Deals, because uh, he's not the Segway. only one that's been talking about the national title. If you watched NWA USA this past weekend, uh, another gentleman, uh, he got his title shot for the national title gentleman. step past Silas, I guess uh, you could say, uh, using his own methods. I give you a free shot to hit me in the chin. I do not hit kids, but I will f*** you up. I'm so glad the referees are out here. Things are getting really heated. Whoa, dear, dear God, homicide. Wow. Let's go. Oh, uh, turns out Austin Idol was uh, making good on that promise. He will see Homicide again in Tampa, Florida, as Homicide has been granted a NWA National Heavyweight Championship match against the great Scion. Blah, blah, blah. It's a good thing we were on seven-second delay there. Oh, Kyle, yeah. That yeah. Man, uh, that Kyle, man you got to control more. your uncle. My uncle is a is a man who I respect and love, and I'm just glad that he decided that he wasn't going to assault me. And, you know, if Austin Idol's going to run his mouth, I'm not going to get in the way because I know what Homicide can do. I mean, the man's name is I Homicide. I can't believe not I'm going to say this, but in defense of Austin Idol, he got called out there. He, he It's not like he just showed up, and he wasn't – I mean, granted, he did talk back to Homicide. Homicide uh, offered the challenge, and initially, Idol did say, uh, you're a junior heavyweight, and you're not really Ooh. in our division. And uh, that did not go over well for Homicide. Homicide's a former Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. I don't know what he's talking about. Some win that ringside New York. Yeah, yeah that's so, true. By the way, I didn't even Robert hear Robert Homicide. I just, heard, I just heard Kyle go out and be like, sorry, folks, sometimes he gets a little carried away. I was like, oh, he must have said something crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was just being him. Nothing yeah, most of what that. Homicide said could not be aired. Uh, a lot so. of bleeping. Yeah. In multiple right. languages, though. Give him credit. Yeah, yeah. He switched yep. it up. It's for if the international right, audience. That's yep, that's I right. I could only curse in one language, so Homicide's got me one I, I, on I, that. I, I, I got about three I can cuss you out. Most people could curse in multiple languages. It's the yeah. first words you use as a child when you're when you're learning other languages. Yes. That's, I guess that's true. Yeah, we, I was waiting for that other part of the sentence. I was like, Kyle's first word was puto. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Puto cara. Uh, oh, man. Yes, Homicide Honestly. versus Sion is going to be grand. Rush Freeman, Homicide would demolish the great Sion. Rush Freeman, man, I don't even think you should, you should just keep Homicide's name out of your mouth. Woo. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like there, Kyle, but. I'm yeah. just saying, I think the wow. man's dangerous, and I. Uh, I do nothing but compliment the man, but all it takes is one Rush Freeman saying the wrong thing. And Get ready. Thing I guess uh, uh, Kyle Davis is going to be managing Homicide soon, it sounds like. So. <laughs> no, oh we're going to make him manage God. Rush Freeman. We'll have him manage Rush Freeman. Rush Freeman? Oh. I will. I, I like Rush. He's one of the, the nicest people in the ring, and man, can he rock a bow tie. And also, let me tell you this. Rush, uh, women love Rush. Like, literally. I don't know what it is. There are a lot of women in Rush concerts. It's, it's, I've uh, seen it, but Rush is Rush is taken now. He he has a a, a very especially when they get uh, to Tom Sawyer lady. Yeah, the that's why they, they go wild for that. Ooh, YYZ, they just go. Wrong. They take their shirts off. Uh, I think we're talking about two different rushes here, Joey G. What else is on pay per view? Well, the, I'm glad you asked, Danny. There's uh, plenty more on the pay per view. Uh, one thing that would be worth talking about, I suppose, uh, is the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship That's right. is on the line as Alex Taylor, alongside Danny Deals, is going to be taking on Kerry Morton 
uh, for that title. Kerry Morton, but a pretty pretty active champion out there, all over the place, defended that title, doing a he's great job. He's got a job. fake injury, and he's using a weapon on his arm, and that's how he's winning. That's how he beat Joe Alonzo there in Knoxville. Uh, What's should I be forget you saying he's holding that cast for that title. You saying he's loading that cast, Danny? He absolutely is a loaded cast. Oh, I'm gonna have to have the refs double check that thing. Yes, not a pretty, I'll be on top. Nope. Of it. No Bob Orton shenanigans in my no, NWA. No. Thank you very much. I did uh, earlier before we went on nah, the man, air, that's a I, did get, I did get sent a video uh, related to this match. I had no idea who it would have come from. It was a mysterious uh, delivery, anonymous. So yeah. uh, let's roll okay. that. That's right. We're out here training. We're running steps like we're in Rocky 1. You know what I mean? Because this Saturday, enough set. Tampa, Florida, Plunkett gassed up the helicopter. He went down to check out the territory bars, find out where the resats are and all the beer, because we're going to be celebrating when young Alex puts, well, I guess it's not the 10 pounds, because that's the world title. So the five pounds of gold, the junior heavyweight title, the world championship, the first world championship in recent memory. I mean, well, world championships all over the world. But this is what's going to happen, Mr. Kerry Morton. And also, I'm filing a grievance, because I know you got a fake injury, that's a weapon, that cast, that's how you beat Joe Alonzo. That's not going to happen here. And if you want to bring it, then bring it. Maybe we'll take it off and use it on him or something like that. So this is going to be real easy. Enough said, new world junior heavyweight champion. How do you like the sounds of that? Champ, what do you think? Oh, I love it. You know what really bothers me? I thought me and Kerry were friends. You know? <laughs> I know. We, we came out there. You see how hurt he was, how angry he was? He was mad that you carried the team well, to the to, to the to the the champion series victory. Yeah, we we could have came out there right then and snuck him. You could have knocked out Ricky. Gary's hands broken, just got beat up by Joe Alonso. Uh -huh. You could have took it right there. But I gave you the courtesy carry of waiting seven days to have seven more days with that championship. But listen, in Tampa, I'm taking what's mine and I'm gonna give you the ass whooping your daddy never gave you. <laughs> Live on fight! Be there, be square. We're going to be there. All right, let's go back to train, champ. All right, let's go. That guy's amazing, right. but that guy, I do mean Danny Deals. And then also Alex Taylor is one of my favorite breakout stars. Him and Thrill Billy Silas, two of my favorite people. Literally, the chance that, that gold is in both of their futures, possibly, maybe. I'm real excited about that. Alex it was Taylor, very nice of Alex it, to give him another seven days for that title. I, I thought so too. You guys came out there. You were you're chilling at ringside. You were like, we could do this now, or we can make it happen on a bigger scale. And I like that deals. I could see what you're going for. You want to make sure that as a new champ is crowned, he has the most eyes on him. You want to make sure that pay per view, you pop those buy rates. Yeah, there's no way that you know. And and we still would have fit the time constraints of you NWA USA being a half an hour because Alex could have took him out in two minutes right there. But let's do it on pay per view. Good people in Tampa. Every everybody can watch it on pay per view on fight. You know, it'll be a, a much uh, much more exciting uh, coronation, if you will. What do you think, Garrison? Hey, I think that uh, you know I, I am a big fan of Alex Taylor. I think he's on the come up. The guy is uh, is looking better and better. That I mean, he's are you know, one of the best physiques in the National Wrestling Alliance? That guy, he said he was uh, probably bigger than Chris Adonis. I remember he had that going on on social media. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that part, but. We'll let Polka, Polka Dot Pam decide. Um, but I will say that Alex Taylor, it has been the, the progression of that guy in the last several weeks has been just outstanding. And it's cool to see him get this opportunity for the uh, NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship. And if Kerry's not on his game, yeah, I I, I actually do believe Alex Taylor could definitely uh, take that title off. Alex Taylor was getting win after win for his team in the champion series. And now look at him. Turning that in. Carried the whole team. He carried the whole team. You saw Kyle, you were at ringside the whole time. I got to be honest with you. Two pinfalls during that. That's pretty impressive. Not a lot of people. 10 points, that. brother. Yeah, bro. He, he beat the, the entire Hawks figures. family in that tournament. He, he beat did. Hollywood and P. Jizzle. Took them both he, out. He beat all of New Orleans. What do we got well, going on here in the chat? All right of now? Chalmette, Louisiana. Magic Jake's yeah. getting his top hat going. You know, guys, I heard a rumor that Magic Jake is ready to get back in the ring, but I don't know if that's true. Well, or not. maybe we'll see him uh, this coming weekend in Tampa. Uh, I did I sign him up jump for in. a uh, also I Eric Dale dancing competition. See if Eric, his uh, his ankle was back. Eric Dale, I did used to have a team in the NWA back in 2009 called the Players Club. We came out the Neo Sexy Love. There you go, a little history lesson there. 
that sounds like a, a rabbit hole we could go down some other time, Kyle. Because uh, right now, what I would like to point out is another huge match that's happening at, happening at Nuff Said is EC3 is going to be taking on the returning, the rare breed, Kevin Kiley. And uh, that match, you can see it's bright in that graphic because they're both squinting. <laughs> they, they, uh, this match got a lot of people excited, not not just because of EC3. We'll give him a little credit, but also because Kevin Kylie making his return to the ring, like televised to the ring. And uh, Kevin Kylie happens to be here with us today. Uh, what a segue, Gary. Oh, double K yeah. coming oh. in. Yeah. <laughs> segue. Wow. Oh, it's Look so good guy. to see you, sir. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. It's extremely grateful. Thank you. Listen, yeah, this, as this, somebody it, who's gotten opportunities that? before, I got to be honest with you. It comes down to not only knowing the right people, but being in a position to live up to people's expectations. You know the right people. You have the ability to live up to expectations. You're here. You're in the National Wrestling Alliance debuting on pay-per-view February 11th against EC3. Share with the audience. What's the thoughts? What's the feelings? This is a big deal. Yeah, it, it's a huge deal for me. I'm, I'm very grateful to everybody at NWA, Billy Corgan, for putting faith in me to, you know, to really allow me to have this opportunity to, to kind of make you on a pay-per-view. And I get to, you know, be around guys that I was, you know, dating even back to the FCW when I came up. We're going to be in the same area right around there. It's going to be the same energy. It's almost like it's like a rebirth for me. You know, and, and this is like, it, I, I, I keep God very close to me in my life. And it's like, it's all just kind of aligning in this in this beautiful way. And I just, you know, I just wanted to thank you guys. I'm, I'm excited to get out there and I'm excited to have a match again and, uh, you know, get back to what what I love doing, what I really enjoy doing after after COVID and all of that stuff is, has really passed us. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited. And, you know, no. I know that I've, I've heard a lot of people online talk about their possibility of maybe some ring rust or things like that. But let's look at this from the other way. You have had the ability to watch and scout and witness people like EC3 as they have come up. You're a wild card to them. You're the rare breed. They haven't had the same ability to see where you are at right now. So you, you literally could just come in. You could shock the world. Yeah, I, I've been away for a while. You know what I mean? And and, and that, you know, it could be a, a gift and a curse when I get out there, right? There there absolutely could be some rust and I'm, I'm really not going to figure it out until, you know, until I lock up with EC3. But the, the thing I do uh, respect about him is intelligence. You know, I've, I've watched his work. Uh, you know, I remember when he broke into the business and I've seen him evolve. Uh, I love the way he, he talks. He cuts promos. He does a really, really amazing job. And I, you know, I, I respect him as an opponent. Uh, so, get out there with him, you know, on my first televised match on pay-per-view. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be really exciting. And, uh, and, uh, you know, we're going to create some magic out. There. I got to say, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of our fans in the uh, chat right now and, and we, of the NWA, w one of the cool things I love about the national wrestling Alliance is these fans are sometimes fans that haven't been following for a little while. They're laps fans that are coming back, or even sometimes we've got a, we've got a, quite a bit of brand new fans that are just catching wrestling for the first time. And so I just want to make clear to them, for those that don't know this, Kevin Kylie is not, uh, I feel like a lot of people should know this, but you're, you're not just a, a green new guy coming in. You're not a fresh, fresh rookie. You are an yeah. established talent. And, and I got, what, what is it like for you? Like, as far as after taking that time off, like, do you, do you, does it feel like it's brand new again or does it, you know, is, is it all the same? Yeah. Just... What, what I, what I am getting right now. And, and once again, I'm, I'm really grateful. I think I'm really getting an opportunity to be my authentic self, you know, we're coming, coming to NWA and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not Alex Riley anymore. You know, I'm Kevin Kiley and, you know, I'm Kevin Kiley Jr. And it's just like, I, I get an opportunity, um, you know, to, to recreate, uh, this person, um, which, which I'm, again, I'm, I'm really grateful for. Uh, so, so it, it is, it's, it's kind of a transformation process and it's, but it's, it's going to be a lot more authentic to who I really am. And I think that's amazing. Now a guy like EC3, I know you, you complimented him there, but, uh, one of the, uh, wild things about EC3 is he's very, he's, uh, he's very cerebral. And the way that he handles things, uh, you, you did mention his intelligence. Are you going to, he, he's got this like 
thing about him where he seems to want to transform people in oh, his wow. own way. Now you're talking about this transformation. I'm just curious if you're concerned yeah. with what he might have in mind. Well, I, you know, he's, he's trying to control everybody's narrative, right? And that's a powerful message, you know, because because we all are, you know, we are the story that, that we, we we create and we're the stories that we tell each other. And sometimes we end up being the story that the world tells us, right, if we're careful. So I do respect his work. Uh, we may be on a little bit of the same narrative, though, you know, who knows by the end of the match. That's the thing. Like, I have an idea of who I am and he's, he maybe have a different idea of who I am and you know, and I got an idea of who he is, and we're going to go out there and and we're going to battle. We're going to battle it out. But but I absolutely do. I think I think he's a really intelligent person, and I've watched his work and I've watched him evolve, and I, I think he's a great opponent. What were the conversations like for you to get back into the NWA? Like I know I know you uh, you sound like a, a grateful guy, and so I appreciate that about you too. And. Uh, but, you know, you would have had to talk to Mr. Corgan and everything. I'm just curious, what was that like, making that decision and having those talks? I I haven't I haven't spoken uh, to, to Billy Corgan, but, you know, I, EEC3 kind of challenged me, right? And he, uh, you know, he, he put me in touch with the right people, and uh, and here I am, you know? And, and I'm just like, everybody that is that has reached out to me and been very kind to me, and, and I'm, you know, I'm grateful, but I, I haven't I haven't spoken to Billy Corgan yet. But I would love to to meet him or speak to him face to face at the pay per view. That's interesting, and that uh, so we're, we're glad to have you too. And I, I do want to give one person in the chat here a chance. I was curious about this because you you sound like an awesome guy, uh, Kevin. And uh, somebody's asking in the chat just uh, you, you seem to be keeping it positive. But what happens when EC3 goes dirty? He's notorious for this. How does Kylie retaliate to that? Are you going to take? Are you a high road guy or what? Uh, I don't know yet. I, I might go high road, <laughs> but I may go low road if I need to. <laughs> you know depends, I mean? on the, uh, depends on the depends on the level of dirty that EC3 goes. What's that? So it depends on the level of dirty that EC3 goes, right? Yeah, you know he's uh, you know he takes the business extremely seriously, but you know I I, I also take it pretty seriously. So it, like I said, it's going to be a good matchup, and um, you know I I really I, I can't wait to get to Tampa, uh, you know to I'm going to try to work out a couple of days before some of the rust off and get out. There. So uh, not not to get the whole looking past EC3, but obviously we're hoping this isn't just a one off deal. I hope you're successful. I hope that this is the building of a beautiful thing, but. Anytime anybody I've ever spoken to, when they come in somewhere, they've got goals. I mean, short term, EC3, long term, what are your goals here? You know, I, I'm honestly, I'm just taking it like one match at a time. Uh, I really, really want to focus on this. You know, I, I think he's an amazing opponent. Uh, Pay per view, it's going to be my first singles match in a really, really long time. You know, so, so right now, my, my, singular focus is is ec3 and then you know if i go out there and and i show you guys that you know i still got some still got some gas in the tank like we'll see what happens but i don't want to look past them I, I don't want to look past february 11th and uh you know nwa enough said i, I want to stay really focused on that night you're incredibly modest and i get to the point where i'm starting to question are you being purposely overly modest to put him into a false sense of security and in your head you're like i got this i'm not even this worried is, yeah no this is this is the real me you know I, i've been out for a while and i'm getting an opportunity to come back uh so i'm you know i i'm, I'm staying very grateful for it and and everybody at nwa and and you know and the wise man and tyrus they've all really really you know they've they've welcomed me and uh, and i'm I'm very, very grateful. We just did that podcast the other day together. You were there. I yes, was there. Sir. We were both I, there. Uh, yeah. Another thing I was curious about is, obviously, you came up through you know, WWE developmental. You saw the world very much in a different way. What's it like to, to be a part of something that is is not that? What's it like to be part of a, a different world for you currently? What's the vibe you got coming in? Uh, it's, it's good. You know, it's, it's a good feeling for me. It's, it's, I'm, I'm really grateful to be back in the business. You know, I, I, I missed it for a long time. Uh, I was away from it for a long time and I, you know, I, I, I missed the locker room. You know, I miss guys. I miss, I miss being in the ring. Uh, I'm, you know, so, 
it, it, it's been a huge blessing. You know, the WWE was one place and, you know, I haven't, I was, I, sh I was at one show uh, prior and then this will be my second one for NWA. You know, I'm still getting my feet wet, but I'm, you know, everything right now has been incredibly positive. You know, I, I'm, I'm you know, I love it. Joe, and, uh, you got anything, buddy, there while you're throwing bullseyes? Oh, man, I've been hitting them all really good here. Look, I'm just excited that Kevin's <laughs> going to be a part of us. I think it's a big deal debuting on the pay-per-view. And, I mean, you only get to make your debut in the NWA one time, and people can That's see right. that happen, see history yep. made only on fight if they pre-order that pay-per-view right now. Right. Fight TV. Get out there and get it. It's going to be good. It's a, it's a cool moment. I'm happy for you. It's full circle. Like you said, it just feels like it's just all coming together. What's happening in Tampa? I'm also intrigued. Yeah. No, you what, go. Yeah, I was, I was just... Go ahead, Kevin. Sorry. Yeah, no, I was just going to say that it's, it's, it's a very full circle moment in my life. It's kind of, you know, back to the beginning, back where I started in Tampa, Florida, you know, down the street, FCW was there and NWA's come there and, and, you know, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting a second shot at this and it's, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. And EC3 is a smart guy. So we're going to get out there and we're going to see what happens. You're also going to be right. surrounded by individuals that you came up with. And I have to kind yeah. of question, is there possibly a union that we can see down the road? Uh, you joining force with somebody else? Is there somebody on the roster that you're looking forward to maybe seeing where things can go with the two of you? Yeah, you know, you know, Aaron, Steve, I, I really enjoy all the all the wise men you know, forever. Those those guys have been amazing to me and I've had a great time on the show. Uh, and, you know, Fox has been amazing to us and me. And so, you know, all, all those guys that that I've kind of gotten to know through that show, I'd, I'd, I'd team up with them any day. I like that. Well, it would be interesting to see what happens. I see uh, the chat saying, you know, some people are like, this guy's so cool. And some people are like, this guy is faking how nice he is. He's going to get there and he's going <laughs> to hit somebody with a chair. Well, that was the old that was the old me now. You know, that oh. was Alex oh, Kiley. oh, this is Kevin mm. Kiley. So, you know, we're, but yeah, no, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful and it's been a while and uh, it's, it's going to be nice to get back out there in front of people and in front of you guys and, and just show y'all what I can do. You know, Kyle we'll said he'll be your uh, bump dummy yeah, if you need to break off some ring rust. Oh, break, man. If I have Kyle. to start bumping again, I'm not going to be looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Mr. Kyle, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we want to be respectful of your time and uh, we appreciate you jumping on here and uh, getting with us ahead of enough said this was cool of you. You're going to be making that huge debut on February the 11th, but uh, we feel pretty special ourselves and grateful that we got to have your uh, debut interview in the NWA. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. We will see you this weekend, sir. Good luck. All right. God, God bless y'all. All right. All right. Kevin Kiley. Some people uh, in the chat, you really don't believe that he is that nice. So, it just seems uh, like it's too good to be true. They're so jaded. So He's am a jaded I. Jaded fan. Oh, there's the puppy. Here's the pupper. Look at that baby. I don't know what to believe. I don't know. I mean, I guess uh, if there's anybody you're going to find it out with, it's going to be EC3. He's got the uh, natural ability to tap into uh, whatever's lying under anybody's facade so we're gonna find out we've seen him push tom latimer uh to get pretty wild at certain points and uh so we'll see what he's got in mind for uh kevin kiley here coming up on february the 11th all right and by then, the way this, uh, this has nothing to do with anything but jesus i got a lot of pens and markers in my bag this isn't conducive to traveling with you should see mine i'm gonna need them for oh. the meeting kyle so put, put them in a ziploc oh we'll need it for the agents meeting what else is on the pay per view? Uh, well, I was going to say, I think the only matchup that we haven't really gone out of our way to discuss yet, uh, that at least has been announced so far, is Matt Cardona, of course, challenging for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. This is going to lead us right into talking about power before we wrap. But uh, I can tell you this about this match, uh, and I'm sure Joe and Kyle don't mind because we're going to announce this probably right after this show goes um, off the air. Yeah, we don't mind. Yeah, but uh, we can't confirm. Woo! Bully Ray will be at ringside. Uh, this is unannounced anywhere. So uh, you're getting to hear first on the live stream. Bully Ray is going to be special guest commentator for Tyrus versus Cardona. We're going to see how that plays out. That's an interesting uh, thing that he's seen. We've seen him on uh, Camille's matches, but uh, this is this is going to be cool. He's showing up. Oh, I've got to ask why he's going to be there. Obviously, my I'm first thinking. instinct says he's got some ulterior motives. 
Oh, he just wants to hang out with me and with Tim. Come on, Kyle. Bullseye. Nobody what wants about to Joe Galley. Well, the, the, we only have three headsets. So Everyone wants. To oh, only three it's headsets. A three headset okay. thing. We need to. And we actually decided, really should okay. buy another headset, but we only have three. So. <laughs> <laughs> we got three chairs, three monitors, three headsets. Yeah, that's the kind of behind got. the scenes that you only get here. On the I Internet did see there was a text in the middle of Live Power that just said. Tim Storm's headset no longer works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wow. It All was right. sent to me by Joseph. Look I told Trask, he goes, I okay. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you asked this, Kerry, <laughs> right before I said that or not, but he, he had sent the question, uh, is Bully Ray scheduled for this event? Yes. Yes, Bully Ray is scheduled for this event. He will be special guest commentator of the main event. Now, a big deal for that main event is the potential stipulation we're going to get out of that. But the only way we're going to find out what that is, is going to be on NWA Power. We're going to talk about that in just one second. First, I just want to remind everybody that if you haven't already, well, first, at nationalwrestlingalliance.com slash shop, uh, if you use the code NUFFDEALS, you can get 20% off all the way through February the 14th. And uh, th that's thanks to your buddy Danny Deals there. And also, I just want you to be aware of the pay per view coming up on February 11th. Nuff said is available on Fight. You can't go there uh, and get in because it's sold out. So you're going to have to get it on Fight if you want to see what happens there and you don't already have a ticket. Also, two days of TV tapings uh, if you're not already aware of that. On Sunday, before the big game, you can get in there. Check Almost out sold NWA out Power. on Sunday. Almost sold out on Sunday. I think we What's just this big game you're talking of... about? It's called the, the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. We don't have to do that BS here because we're not on television where they have to say the big game. It's a weird, dumb rule the that Super they actually Bowl. never really needed to do. Yeah, it's the Super Bowl. Uh, but you know what? Keep an eye on our social media platforms because we're trying to find a nice place. And actually, if you're in the Tampa area and you want to know a nice bar and grill where we could all go and uh, watch the game it's together, it's a matinee. Put It'll it in the over. chat. Put it in the chat because we're all going to go out and have a good time. Put it in the chat. Uh, yeah, so we're going to find a place where we could go and uh, enjoy the Super Bowl nearby. I'll tell you what, if that if the show wasn't over before the Super Bowl happened, I guarantee you Kevin Keenan would fake an ACL injury. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. He's a shady Northeast brother from Philly. He, he, <laughs> there ain't no way he's going to miss that game. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to run the uh, ad for Nuff Said and the TV tapings. And uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about what's going to happen tomorrow night on a new episode of NWA Power. NWA fans, get ready to see the ultimate pro wrestling spectacle live. Join us Saturday, February 11th. Don't miss NWA Nuff Said on pay-per-view. W live from the Egypt Shrine Center in Tampa. But that's not all. Mark your calendars for two back-to-back -back power tapings. It's WEDU Studios in Tampa, Florida, Sunday, February 12th, and Monday, February 13th. See world champion Tyrus, world women's champion Camille, EC3, Matt Cardona, and many more of today's top talents as they battle it out for dominance in the ring. Don't miss out on all the action. Visit NWATix.com for tickets and order NWA Nuff Set on Fight TV today. The National Wrestling Alliance, wrestling as it's meant to be. Okay, internet champion. Uh, just I so you know, I am Why don't in we many do this? So, so for tonight, anybody who wants to come and see the deal match. machine, I am many Tyrus more. and partners of his choosing versus you and two partners of yours. The winner decides and now the I can't hear anybody. for Tampa. How about, How about that? that? I'll agree, but tonight, I'm not ready yet tonight. If we do this next week, you give me one week. Not ready. Isn't you give me one yet? week to find a partner to get always ready. You're on, and I'll see you in Tampa. All right, so Deals uh, couldn't see it apparently there, but we were playing a clip there of uh, Tyrus and uh, Cardona at the contract signing from NWA Power Live. No, everybody was in slow motion doing this. Oh, oh, no, ours was going good. We just heard you talking over it. It was very weird. No. Oh. <laughs> Um, well, that's okay. So, I was just letting everybody know that I'm many more in case you want to go. And don't forget that's NWA Tix, NWA Tix dot com. Say it, Kyle. I mean, I'm sick of my voice. I can only imagine everybody else's. <laughs> oh, well, the National we Wrestling to, Alliance, uh, wrestling as it's meant to be. Like I'm not. I need to change well, you to my, my GPS. Ringtone. Turn left. P pass this light at the next life turn left. So I used to drive my ex crazy because we'd be driving down the street and I just read reading like signs. Right, be like, Mr. Bronner's pocket soap. You know, just 
dumb yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> We're at it's the Florida. intersection of 143rd and Coit, Florida. Now Denver entering stuff. Pennsylvania. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. NWA power comes before Nuff said on February the 11th. On uh, February the 7th, you got to check this one out. There's going to be a huge, huge list of matches here to go through. Uh, one of those, though, of course, was that clip from the uh, contract side that we just saw. Tyrus ready to just go. And Matt Cardona wants all these stipulations, a death match or a whatever. He wants Mike Knox in there with him. Or he could be playing stuff. the long game. You don't know. He could be playing head games. He could have all the answers. And instead, he's just asking all the questions. And also, look at him. Showing his tongue there to let you know he keeps that nice and clean. Uh, Chelsea got him a tongue scraper for Christmas, and he's been very proud of it ever since. Well, uh, one thing they did settle in on is they both signed the contract, but... Uh, this week on NWA Power, they've agreed on a six-man tag match. And Matt Cardona is obviously going to choose Mike Knox as one of his partners, but he'll have a mystery partner. Oh, who's it going to Who's it going to It's team. got to be Brian Myers. Well, who made these graphics? Could it, it be like, BSK? It looks Could like it be? BSK. It's got a whole family. What is, what's looks the like mystery here? Tyrus has a crew. This Where's Jordan point? Clearwater? Black. Clearwater. Oh, we're thinking it's going to be... Them. It's going to be it? the expected people. Where's Marche? I was just going to say, where has Marche been? I missed the rock. Yeah, That's I don't the whole know. Crew. He just kind of disappeared. And uh, well, you say, you say Jordan Clearwater. You say maybe it's going to be us tonight. Uh, Clearwater is going to be in action himself already on the show. He has got an NWA Double World duty. Television Championship defense against Big Strong Mims. That's happening tomorrow night on NWA. Got to work Power. twice. I mean, oh, I so think he's... it's interesting that Mims is cashing in, trying to get this shot already, not wasting any time. So this is a confirmed like, This is a cash in. Mims is getting a second this is shot cash at in. the. Uh... This is him cashing in. Nice, so doing it the going... honorable way, just like our buddy Alex Taylor. Correct. Letting him know you're coming. Knock knock. Who's there? Title opportunity. Who this? Mims wants that TV title. I respect that. Like he is, he is Bullseye. all about getting that television championship. He uh, fought Tyrus for it a couple of times. He's already fought Clearwater for it. They went to a time limit draw. We're going to see what happens when he cashes in tomorrow night on NWA Power. It for one is more shot. his unspoken holy grail that he has been reaching out for since the inception of Mims. He wants the TV title. He's had the opportunities. Will this be the one? You have to tune in to find out 605 Eastern only on YouTube. Well, nobody seems to want to shut up about the thrill, Billy. Well, you'll be able to find out. You'll be happy to find out that tomorrow night on NWA Power, Thrill Ooh. Billy Silas is in action. He's Thrill amazing. Billy Omar, and uh, Thrill Billy is going to be taking on Kratos. Or Kratos, if you're not the first time I just like to call him Most Feared. Together. Yeah. Most Feared. That's all you need to know. Look at him. Right there. The man, shoot fighter, street fighter, impeccable facial hair, Thrill Billy Silas Mason, strength, charisma impeccable hair and also quite the lady on his shoulder right there this one they've already had one match who's going to come out ahead we're going to find out nwa power youtube tuesday you know croutons right there in that picture kind of looks like uh, emperor ming from flash gordon a little bit yeah he does doesn't he yeah ah. i wonder how oh, difficult it is to get that goatee in that tie <laughs> Ah, oh, if you like big boys snap and eat, that might do it for you. The NWA has some of the biggest and baddest, but you know what? They can do they can do better than one match of just giant guys beating the snot out of each other. How about two? Let's uh let's throw in Jax Dane, the Dane event. Megala Dane uh is gonna be taking on <laughs> Tom Latimer. He's got a lot uh, of names. Yeah, that is a huge matchup. These two boys are going to knock the crap out of each other, and I am here for it. I can't wait to see it. Also, I mean, at a disadvantage, Tom Latimer, we saw the attack. I don't know about you, but I've never been hit in the back of the neck or anywhere else with a kendo stick before. For all I know, that could have irreparable damage there. You get the trauma in the spinal column. You feel in your fingers, your toes, amongst other okay, parts of your on. body. It's hold affecting on. his marriage. Jack Stane's coming in right at the opportune time. If Tom Latimer can't win this match, what does this mean for the pay-per-view? Hold on, Kyle. You were on the Indies in the mid two thousands. You mean telling you never got hit with a Singapore cane? I no, no. I, I, I was usually the one that was making sure other people were getting hit with canes. No, okay, I got hit with one. I mean, oh, you're very well, hitable. There is one other match to talk about. It Japan! does. It is uh, not title, I believe, but uh, it looks like Roxy. Ooh. And uh, well, it is not title because it's Roxy. Roxy and Ella Envy 
uh, are taking on the Renegade Twins. Now, the this is a feud that's been ongoing. We saw Kenzie Page uh, this past week take on one half of the Renegade twi Bullseye. Twins, and that uh, did did not go the way of the Renegade Twins. Kenzie Page coming out on top, perhaps deceptively, but uh, did did manage to get the job done. And now Roxy and L Envy will have their opportunity with the Twins. Can they get it done? And if they don't, doesn't this make the Renegade Twins in line to get a shot at those tag team times? I, I think that's exactly what it means. I, think I mean, exactly one would what would think. Is. But pro wrestling's quirky. You never know. One thing means one thing. It doesn't mean another all the time. But the Renegade Twins, one of the greatest tag teams that's unsigned in the professional wrestling industry right now, have an opportunity to shine here. As Joe said, if they can be successful here, there's no reason for them not to you be. Gotta give them a shot. Picture. Yep. Gotta give them a shot. Gotta. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you have to? Well, I know I'd, I know William I'd Patrick say. Corrigan and head of talent relations Pat Kenny will be watching this match. They've been watching the Renegade Twins. They've been seeing if Pretty Empowered can actually live up to everything they've claimed they can be. Both teams have a lot riding on this match. One of them is a possibility, and the other one is just the integrity of their championship. Mm. I'm excited to see this one. This is going to be a lot of fun. And, of course, we have that big six man that we mentioned up top. I don't know why Kyle's doing the people's eyebrow. but <laughs> I felt like oh, Deals was looking at me weird. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. We're talking about Deals High. All right, boys. Well, that, that about wraps it up for this show. We have gone through the whole list of NWA power. Enough said. We had uh, the great Kevin Kiley on here with us. Uh, it's been a, an eventful uh, past hour, I think. Did anybody got plugged again, Gary? Yeah, I'm going to share the code as a matter the of fact. The right happy code. To, uh, yeah, and the right bullseye, code. Bullseye, baby. Like yeah, to get yeah bullseye. Man. Get your old bullseye with code Nuff Deals for 20% off on Thursday or through <laughs> Thursday. Uh, it's time to go. Easy for you. February 14th. Oh, boy. Anyway, that's at nationalwrestlingalliance.com slash shop. I popped myself. That's, that's okay. I popped myself, too. Yeah, that probably a off-air conversation um uh, anyway uh thank we you everybody that. for being here we appreciate you uh and uh we look forward to seeing you probably in two weeks since we'll uh be uh super tied up at tv tapings uh next week i but... i was i was tied up at the beginning of this did we talk about australia uh it got mentioned yeah yeah it did get mentioned that uh Tickets we got a pay for you we got power we got a lot of things going on ladies and gentlemen yeah. We got March 4th, Mexico City, World is a Vampire Tour. We got Bubs off to the side of me. What an adorable pup there. I miss my two dogs. We'll see what happens down the road there. April as well. Big news coming around the corner. We're looking to get some news to you about the 7th and 8th of April that we aren't going to touch base on quite yet. But I'd like to give a little teaser there. 15th through the 30th if you're in Australia. I mean, that's a pretty damn good life you got going on there. But come on down. See Smashing Pumpkins. Also see Jane's Addiction and the National Wrestling Alliance as we go against everybody and much more. in AAA. And much more. By the way, I love that the promo for the World is a Vampire Tour is not me and also an Australian dude. Well, yeah. Makes that makes sense. So it's like, come on yeah. down under there for action and excitement. We should hire him. I was him. told we I shouldn't do, I shouldn't do uh, impressions because I'm not good at them. Good night, oh, Mike. Good. You have that Most foreign good. connection. That's, that's not a tour. That's a tour. Oh, I like that. By the way, All right. Right now, Dundee used to be the highest, groping, highest sorry, grossing Australian. independent motion picture there ever was at the time. Uh, NWA stepping up constantly, money. That's right. You know, when I was it a kid, I thought it. Mad Max is what Australia was really like. Hey, Parts of it one. are. I thought the, the first same one. thing, too. The first one. With now I just Rider. assume it's all like Wolf Creek. With the Knight Rider and the Toe Cutter and all that. Mm, and Bubba Zanetti. Yeah, I like that. I also, I'm scared of the Wolf Creek part of it. Because I feel like that's what most of Australia looks like. And uh, yeah. or, the, or the parts scary. where there's crocs. You don't have to worry about some crazy guy in the outback killing you in Australia. Everything else though. will kill you before you get there. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Thanks. I feel like that was a threat. Yeah, diabetes. Uh, sure. No, I have you seen those uh, spiders? The spiders flag. that come out of the ocean? Those are scary. Yeah. Everything yeah. there is designed to just like, I don't know. If you believe in a higher power, that higher power decided that that nation was just going to be the dangerous place in the world. Yeah, it's true. There, everything in Australia is designed to kill you. Uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, Kyle just went into the light. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> Joe just hit a bullseye. Deals is getting attacked by a dog. 
and uh, I'm going to go uh, hang out and watch TV, I guess. No, he's going to go I'm pound here. some gravy cakes. Yeah, you got that right. As a matter of fact, you all out there, thanks for being here. We'll see you on February the no tomorrow night on NWA Power. Then February eleventh. Where am I? Said, How did I get here? What day is it? Is it Monday? Is it Wednesday? Is it? October? Where are my gravy cakes? You all enjoy your gravy cakes, everybody. Do you have a?